Welcome to the job site. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install wall paneling. This is a Wayne's coating style that's very simple and it's just where you nail a chair rail onto the wall and a PM, which is a panel mold underneath the chair rail to make frames, shadow boxes, rectangles, picture frame, whatever you want to call them. We're going to be making boxes on the walls underneath the chair rail. And we did it at this house a few months ago and if you look over here off the stairs, this is what we did. That's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So stick around. So here's the wall that I'm going to be showing you how to do as with all our other Wayne's coating videos. I show you how to do one wall just to give you a basic idea. Here's the one wall that we're going to be doing. The first thing I'm going to do is mark off the height of the top of the chair rail. And I'll just do this with a tape measure and a pencil. And the height for mine is 40 inches. Usually we're doing about 40 to 46 inches and that's pretty standard so I'll just take the tape measure I'm not going to push on it, I'm just going to let it set on the carpet and then mark off a 40 and I'll go about halfway down the wall just to give me another reference point 40 and then go to the edge over here and do another 40 so well, at this point what you could do is you could connect the two ends and do a snap line but I don't like doing that on carpet and we're not going to have any protection down right here since we're just installing this. So what I'm going to do is just line up my top of my chair rail with those reference lines and I should be good to go. My reference points mark on the wall my 40 inches up and what I'm going to do is take a measurement for my chair rail. And this chair rail is just going to be dead end into that wall right there. That's the way that they wanted it. And then I'm just going to have it dead end to this door casing. So I'll just get a measurement across here. And it's 93 and 3 quarters. And somehow I already have that cut. It was already in the oven. So I'll just line up my 40, my chair rail on those reference lines. And then I can shoot it in and I should be good to go. So, now that I have that chair rail in, you saw how easy that was. This is really the easiest way to dress up your walls with the Wayne's coating look. I have these four inch blocks. These are my spacer blocks in between each panel and between the top of the baseboard and the bottom of the chair rail. I'll show you what I mean. I'll take these blocks and this is the point right here. The end of this block is where my first panel needs to be. My first PM needs to start right there. Same thing down here. That's where they need to start, right there on that block. So what I can do is just take a measurement right here, like this. Or not a measurement, but make a little line like this. And then come down on this side. And you see the point of intersection. That's where my first panel needs to lay out. I'll do the same thing down here. Just drag it across and do the same thing going up. And you see that point of intersection. That's the outside corners for my PM. It's really that easy. Now the not so easy part is finding out how many boxes you can fit on here, but I'll show you how to do that. It's not hard at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this same thing on that side. So I'll do that. And these blocks right here, they're four inches all the way around. This is a true square. So I'll drag it on over. Come on down this way. And these can be whatever you want. If you don't like how tall four is, you can shorten it or make it bigger. It's totally up to you. So now what I'm going to do is I will, to figure out how many panels I can fit in here, I have my measurement for this, which was 93 and 3 quarters. So I'll write that down, 93 and 3 quarters. That's 
from this wall to that door casing. And what I'll do just to make sure that it's kind of square, just to make sure that it's fairly even, I'll take a measurement of the bottom too. I'm gonna hit the wall, come over to the door casing, 93 and 5 eighths. I'm an eighth of an inch off, that's not something I'm worried about. The 93 and 3 quarters, what I need to do is subtract four inches from each side, so that'll give me a total of eight to subtract. So we go 93 and 3 quarters minus eight, which is 85 and 3 quarters. 85.75. So the way this is gonna work is now I've just gotta determine how many panels do I wanna fit on this wall. And a good reference point is the rest of the house, what matches with the rest of the house. So just looking at this wall, I think I can fit one, two, three, four, let's say five. So if I want to put five panel boxes on here, what I'll do is I will do four times four, which is 16, and I will take 85.75 minus 16. So the reason I did four times four is because if you want five boxes, you have four spaces in between those boxes. If you want six boxes, you have five spaces in between those boxes. If you want seven boxes, you have six spaces in between those boxes. However many boxes you have, you always have one less um, numeric value for what, how many spaces are in between those boxes. So 10 boxes, nine spaces, 11 boxes, 10 spaces. So if I want five boxes, I've got four reveals gaps in between those boxes and they're four inches thick so four times four is 16 so 85 and three quarters minus 16 i went to freaking public school shut up there's <laughs> so always somebody out there that's like you can't do the math in your head well i told you already i went to public school 69 and three let me see so 85 and three quarters minus 16 is 69 and three quarters. So now that I have my 69 and three quarters, I'll divide that by five, because that's how many boxes I want, and it's 14 inches, which is fine. 14 inches. So what I'll do now is I'll just measure this, just to verify that it's gonna fit. I'll start here and I'll go over 14 make this block right here pencil line this is just to get an idea if this is gonna work or not 14 all the way down the line. And then this last one should tell me how accurate it is. 14. So we're good to go with that. So now that I know the layout is gonna work with my measurements, what I will do is just take a measurement from the top of this line, or from this top line to this bottom line. And I got 26 inches. So 26 inches, high and 14 inches wide, that's each panel, that's what each panel is going to be. Now how many of those do I need? Well if I have five boxes, I just multiply each number times two. So for the 26 inches I need 10 of those, and for the 14 inches I need 10 of those. So for the 14, I'll get 10 of those, and for the 26, I'll get 10 of those. We'll go out, we'll cut these up on the saw, and we'll bring them in and show you how easy they are to put in. So we just cut all of our panel molding, and I'm just laying it out in groups. And the first thing you'll do when you're installing this is you'll take your blocks and just make a square like that. So you can have something to push it up against. 
and you'll take your first vertical. I just start with the verticals and shoot in there. Take one of your horizontals, keeping it in position, tack it in there. You'll do the same thing. You'll see that kind of moves, that's okay. You'll just take this side, bring it up there. Then for the bottom, you'll just drag this block down, tack that one in. Bring your horizontal one across, tack that in, and come down with this vertical one. This one will fit. You don't really need a block here, you just want to make sure these match up. And here. And that's how simple it is. We'll go on down the line. One thing you can do with these panel molds, just to make sure they don't move around on you through the years, is just do a toenail either through the top and into that one or through the side. That'll just give it some more um, strength so you don't have to worry about the house ships or anything, this stuff cracking over the years. So I usually do that too. And that's just bringing a nail down from molding into the molding so you're not shooting into the wall. And these sides too. And that should do it. I'll keep doing the same thing down the line and show you how that looks at the end. So that should do it for this wall. And as you can see here, we're perfectly on our point of intersections at the end. So that means this panel layout system worked out perfect. And we got lucky kind of here with this outlet. We didn't have to move it. It came right on the edge of one of our panels. So just keep those in mind as you're laying it out. You can move things around and kind of try to avoid those, but there you have it. That's how easy it is to put these picture frame shadow boxes, panel moldings, like I said, whatever you want to call them, on a wall. And when we paint them, they will look great, just like they look down the stairwell there. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to install the chair rail with the panel moldings underneath it. There's a little bit of math involved, but for the most part, it's the super most simple way to make your wall look like a dressed up wainscoting look without the cost, without the time, and with a lot less effort. So, like I said earlier, this is the end result. Once we paint it, that's how it's gonna look. Thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you all next time.